excited by the move to the Reno Tahoe area because it's going to reach this very active outdoor crowd that we've only scratched the surface with. The whole city is just beginning cleaner and better bars, restaurants, and, and just the more scene, more rock climbing gyms and things like that to do in your spare time. Take the afternoon or full day if they can from the busy schedule of the trade show and uh, go up to the lake. It's one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen and even though I lived here for so long, every time I get a view of the lake, I'm like kind of uh, surprised how beautiful it is. The time I've spent in Reno Tahoe has just been incredible. I, I, I can only imagine living there and taking part in the outdoor activities, whether it's mountain biking, hiking. So I know it's going to work really well for Interbike. I think retail and my business, distribution, are going through tremendous changes. I think it's smart for Emerald to move the show to a new venue and find out what opportunities are there. We've all got some challenges largest of which is getting more people involved in our sport. So a new location, Reno Tahoe, with everything it has to offer, it's gonna give us that opportunity. There have been a lot of efforts from different trail building organizations in the region. And all these organizations are now working together to connect trails so that the ultimate goal is to really have the entire eastern front of the Sierra Nevada connected through single track. You can start at the Reno Arch and be it 40 miles of single track within two and a half miles. There aren't many cities with that kind of access that close to downtown. It's the surrounding areas. It's, a, it's incredible world-class fly fishing and kayaking and, and obviously skiing and snowboarding and, and endless possibilities. The way I envision a really great industry festival, you're outdoors. The venue is right in the heart of a network of trails and places where you can ride your bike. I think we're going to be able to create a festival night that exceeds anything we've been able to do in the past. And actually taking a big chunk of the indoor show outside and taking people out riding and experiencing all this new equipment is going to be more important in the future. I'm going to advertise the Consumer Day pretty heavily. I want consumers to come and have an opportunity to ride the full breadth of KHS products. I'm going to use it as an opportunity to attract new retailers and to attract consumers who are interested in riding KHS products but they haven't been able to find it at their local retailer. To be able to test the best products available in the best place possible. We will be able to get all of that feedback directly from the consumer about what products they're excited about. This drive towards more consumer participation is the biggest change. The bicycle industry is going to benefit from that. In September, it's an ideal time to get outside on the trails and enjoy everything that the area has to offer. If you haven't been to Reno in the last decade, you need to come here. There's been an enormous growth in restaurants and bars and just the vibe of town. It's hip. And I think that when people come to Reno, they're going to see that visiting here, a vacation and an opportunity to do business.